Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Morgan Flowers. If you are new here, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're not new here, hey boo. <laughs> Today is Sunday. I actually just finished creating some content for the gifted collaboration that I had with Octoly, which is I got a collaboration with Bare Minerals. So hopefully the goal is always when you get gifted collaborations that it leads you to something else. So we're going to hope for like this to lead me to another um, campaign. Of course, I'm going to reach out to Bare Minerals afterwards and see like y'all y'all got some money for your girl. <laughs> um, but I actually like the red lip. Um, red lips can be a struggle for me because I, I struggle with my lip liner for whatever reason. Like sometimes my lip liner be a little wonky. So I was like, okay, like I don't like to overdraw my lips. Like, like this line at the top of your lip, I don't like to overdraw it. And then it's just like, it don't be looking right under it. And ugh, I don't know. But anyway, I really do like these products. Um, it let, I wore this actually yesterday. When I say I went to bed, I still had like a pink stain on my lips. Like I had the micellar water. Like you might need to like scrub, sugar scrub your lips after you use this thing because when it says long lasting, it means long lasting. So I actually like this one too with a brown liner. That's how I did it yesterday, but today I did the red liner. So I like it. It's a cute little combination. Um, I can leave these below just in case anyone is looking for a red lip, a long lasting red lip. I also still have my Fenty Beauty one, which lasts a long time too, but the Bare Minerals, um, you know, just another alternative. So. I really do like that and um I did have a few things to do today y'all tell me why I was late paying my rent I forgot I forgot about it like I don't I had the money but I completely forgot to go and get it and take it and da 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 so hopefully they excuse me this one time <laughs> hopefully we're gonna see um if they email me or something tomorrow but um but yeah that was it for right now um I have to go to the bathroom real bad so i'll talk to y'all later hey y'all good morning happy monday um i'm actually about to go to the gym um i was thinking about going for a walk because i'm always alternating between the two but i'm about to do my gym day today and then do my walk days for the rest of the week um and yeah that's about it i just have on this little sweatshirt and i have like a t-shirt under and like just some like stretchy material tight pants whatever um it's like eight o'clock yeah it's 803 i should have been out the house by now because i like to go to the gym early and my eye has been twitching all weekend like y'all probably can't even tell you're not gonna do it now okay but my eyes been twitching all weekend y'all know people say oh somebody's talking about you somebody been talking a lot of mess apparently somebody just keep talking about me because my eye just keeps switching it's so annoying um but yeah i'm just gonna take my headphones before i forget them because that would be torturous like i really might have to not, like not go to the gym if i forget my headphones because <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna check in with you guys when i get back um and yeah bye so i'm done at the gym oh my hair as you can see my hair looks i probably should lay it down but anyway, I just got dressed and I put some sunscreen on. And my scent of the day is Mugler Alien. I actually have to go. Child, I'm not even going nowhere. I just want to get dressed. I just have on my little black jeans, as always. And this little black top. My hair is in like this little child thing. <laughs> but I have to go. I decided to get some new tires today. Um, because I'm tired of them. I, like... Every time I go to put air in my tires, it gets lower and lower. Like, usually it would be like, I would go to put air in my tires and my tire will be at like 25 PSI. And I usually put, my tires take 42, but then it'll, it'll be at like 25. And now it would be at like 20 PSI. Like, it just keeps getting lower and lower and lower. And I'm not going to risk it because I feel like one of these days I might come out here and my tire is on 12. It flat. And then I'm going to be sick and be like, Morgan, you should have went to go get your tires. You should have just went. So let me just go and get some new tires. They're very expensive. Um, I can't wait until I'm a full-time creator and I can just write everything off on my taxes. Yeah, I'm putting these tires on my taxes. <laughs> um, but let me go, let, like, I need to lay this down. Um, and yeah, I'll be back.
y'all i didn't finish that tire stuff until like 12 20. my point was at 10. like anyway i didn't have nobody to drop me off so i had to sit there and wait so i'm glad it's over i'm glad i got my tires y'all was so sick and putting air in my tires every single day tired of it but on a better note i did get some stuff from friend's house i um it's a jewelry company black owned very simple pretty pieces um i do have a coupon code i'll have that on the screen so pretty like and then the green like she know me <laughs> um but no she also sent me this pretty pretty necklace um and wait if it would twist is that the right way no it's not let me twist it sorry y'all it's this way but really pretty um very simple as you guys it's it's one of those things you can layer it's one of those layerable necklaces um so i'm really looking forward to wearing them and just creating some content with it you guys know i always talk about friends house I, I have their jewelry of course my earrings are usually sitting right here or something but of course it's not today but i do have um i have two pairs of earrings from them already so really cute again i'll have their coupon code my their links are always going to be below for friends house um like i said black owned woman owned business um and i do i did also get a dress you see my pillows <laughs> these are my old pillows that i sit on but i did also get a dress from this brand called finesse i'm gonna just go get it can you do something for me 21 Yo, I forgot I was making tea. So I had my water just boiling. <laughs> um, but anyways, it's really pretty yellow, frilly dress. So cute. It's like a satin effect material. The back is kind of low. I did record a video in it, so I'll put that on the screen. I'm gonna move over. But I did record like a little video because um, I wanted to just kind of promote the content a little bit. So cute. I really bought this for uh, Dallas. Just a really cute, friendly, frilly, girly type of vibe. I'm thinking maybe either you can do like a really simple, like strappy heel, like very base, like one of the basic strappy heels. Or you can do like a like a chunky strappy heel. You know those like thick heels? So I was like back and forth. And then of course back and forth with the color of heel. Um, you could also go simple and do like a white heel. But I'm like, how can I use this yellow to play off of the complementary colors? I think the complementary color of yellow is purple, if I'm not mistaken. Don't quote me. <laughs> but I was also looking at purple because I'm like, that'll be a nice way to color block. Or um, you can also do like a green heel. Like just a pop of color, you know? So that's what I was thinking about too very cute finesse is just a cute little brand it's kind of like edgy i keep describing it as like edgy maybe a little bit out there like if you like cutouts and sheer and mesh and your butt half out then that's the type of stuff that finesse has but i was able to find this really cute dress on there they also have like those long satin dresses that the that gives you like that summer luxury vibe like i love a satin dress so um that was really cute i really like that um but i do have to work shortly and soon it's literally one o'clock i just had a staff meeting so i've been home just listening to the staff meeting and stuff like that but um i will tune back in with you guys a little bit later um be sure to shop with friend's house i love friend's house just such a cute brand and um i'll be back, I'll be back later hey guys it's tuesday i have some content to do with my dad today so i'm just up getting some little you know trying to put some food in my belly that's it but said food is a pop tart. Like, <laughs> I need to go grocery shopping so badly. I think I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Um, but in the meantime, I thought about doing like things that I like from Sephora, um, like a TikTok type of thing. But I also, honestly, I could also tell you guys my favorite like 10 products from Sephora. Just like mid video, nothing too, like I don't have to do a sit down video for it. I mean, I could but i don't have to do this whole sit down video for it so i'm gonna talk to you guys about some of the things that i like from sephora when i get myself together because i look my forehead shining look at it <laughs> um no but i'm um it's already 8 30 i have to leave out by like 9 15 I want to say because traffic all that good stuff can be really annoying so i just set all this stuff out that i want to talk about and i'm gonna when i come back we're gonna talk about the things that i like from sephora that i would suggest you guys pick up if you guys are into the holiday sale i know the recent sale just passed but holiday season is still upon us so anything that you guys want to 
check out purchase things that i stand by yeah we're gonna talk about them um but i'm gonna um i'm gonna eat my pop tart <laughs> And then I'm going to show you guys some content. I know you guys haven't seen me do content with my dad in a while. We actually haven't done it in a while. So, um, he finally called your girl up. But yeah, we're going we gonna to see that later. <laughs> Y'all, if you guys remember a couple vlogs ago, I was wiping off this little coat. What, like, I don't understand. It looks so bad on camera. It's picking up so white. It don't look that white to my eyes. It looks more like a gray. But I don't get what's going on. I really feel like it's from my car. Like, I don't, I can't, I don't know how, but like, I can't, I don't get it. Like, I have to keep, and it's easy to wipe off. It's not hard to, it's not difficult to remove. But it looks trifling, like, ugh, God. Okay, so, we're going with light jean today with my Dr. Martens. Um, this shirt is just like a graphic type of tee. I think I've got this, is it H&M? I think it's H&M. Again, this little short crop jacket from Zara that always gets stained. Don't know why. Um, I just have on like little stud earrings today. I can't even, it's not even focusing. But my, but since I'm doing like a silver, I just did like little silver necklaces. Um, perfume is going to be Good Girl, Carolina Herrera. Y'all know the tea. that's my... Yeah, that's my favorite. And, um, I will check back in. You guys will see me next, um, with my dad. The bag I'm wearing is just gonna be this one because it's just big and I need to put some stuff in it. I need to put something on my face. Well, I just brushed my teeth again, so I need to, like, put something on, around my lips. Oh, it smells so good. That's my girl. Okay, me and my dad are done with his content. Um, he actually did three different reels. He really only needed an hour and a half, but he booked the space for two. It was a really nice space, as you guys saw. It was very like, it reminded me of the art of an art gallery. And the all the paintings on the wall were done by the guy who owned the place. So it was just really cool um, just to see his artwork. So him and I were like talking about it and I asked him like, just, is he selling his pieces and stuff? And he was like, yeah, so everything was really nice. Um, my dad will definitely be booking that space again. Um, he was going to this other place before, but he was saying that the other place was actually more expensive. So I'm like, yeah, you might as well just book here because you can do every piece of content you want to do here. It's a nice space. Um, and the guy was really nice and everything. So that was, that was cool. Um, but I wanted to share something just really quickly. Um, I had a conversation with my mom recently and, um, I learned some information just about my family, just things that you, you never knew, right? And I just wanted to relay the message, and at first I was really upset about it, um, but I wanted to relay the message to you guys that your family trauma does not have to become your trauma. 
Like, you do not have to adopt the anger, the heartbreak of your family members to pass on to your family. You know what I'm saying? Um, Because, again, I was really upset. I was really bothered by um, news that I learned and everything. But I can't, like, I can't allow myself to soak up that energy too much, right? Because, again, it just becomes generational, Oh, I'm just going to pass that down to my children in the future, right? Because it's just like, that's what we do naturally. So just a reminder, like, no matter what it is, your family trauma does not have to become yours. You can heal. It starts with you. You know what I'm saying? Like, it starts with you. You can heal that trauma and stop it right where it's at. Like, right where it's at. So um, that's, what I, that's what I intend to do. Like, I'm not going to um, Harper harp or just harp on it basically is what i'm trying to say i'm not gonna harp on um hurtful information because it's just gonna hurt me it's just, it's just gonna continue to fester in my own spirit um and that's not that's not helpful for my growth as a person so that's my message for the day um but it's tuesday i do have to work later it's now 12 about 12 10 12 10 that's my birthday <laughs> I know somebody was just looking at me like I was crazy in this car. Um, but yeah, so. But yeah, that's my message for the day. So I'm on my way home now and. Oh, God bless. Oh, he, this man was just limping. Walking. Why is this man on the ground? What's going on out here? Oh, he was looking at something. Yo, this man was just sitting on the ground like this. Like, is he okay? But he was, it looks like he was looking in like a hole or something. I don't know. But anyway, I'm blabbering. But I will see you guys. I'm on my way home now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to eat. Y'all, I literally still just had a Pop-Tart. But, um, but I'll talk to y'all later. So I actually decided to just go to this black-owned juice bar. I'm just going to get a juice. Um... I haven't been there in a while. I actually went there before. This camera, I I actually been there before. Which way am I going? Which way is it? Which way is it? Straight. Yeah, so I've been here before. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what juices I end up getting when I get them. I'm thinking like I need something with a little healthiness in it. <laughs> Maybe some ginger. I did have some ginger tea yesterday actually, but I'm just gonna get something healthy, maybe something green, and I'm gonna show you guys when I get there. Hi, Morgan. How are you? My name is Yara Winkle, the the the, the, uh, the the owner of Juice Capital and author of So You Think You Can Juice on Amazon. Um, do you have a question for me? Oh, the question is, what's your favorite juice here? Oh, my favorite juice is Immunity Boost. Um, immunity. I was thinking yes. about that one. Yeah, so Immunity Boost, it has, uh, it has a habanero pepper, lemon, orange, celery, pi and pineapple. And apple, if I didn't say it already. So mm. it goes down sweet and it like, hits the back of your throat like a little spice, but it's not too, it's not too spicy. But oh. it's really good, really sweet, and that's my favorite. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Y'all, she was so sweet. Um, and it's always weird for me, like, when I'm vlogging, because I'm like, I don't want to make people feel uncomfortable or whatever. But I just let her know, like, hey, I'm, I'm vlogging for my YouTube channel. And um, she was like, <laughs> no, she asked me what my name was. And then I was like, Morgan, Morgan, um, no, she asked me what my YouTube was. And I said, Morgan Flowers. She was like, is your dad, are you William's daughter? And I was like, yes, that's me. <laughs> but it's just so funny because I couldn't tell if she recognized or she asked me that because my last name is flowers or if i look like my dad it's probably a mixture like once i said flowers it's not that many people i don't know anybody else in the area with the last name flowers number one number two once you once i say flowers you probably like okay you do look like him now that i actually think about it so it could have been that thing and i was just like it's funny i was just with my dad like 20 minutes ago um so it was really nice the juices that i ended up getting were uh, mean green I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys the ingredients of this one and i was actually gonna get the i was gonna switch this one out for the immunity boost the one that she mentioned so it's mean green and then this one is strawberry crush so when i get home i'll show you guys um we can taste them and then i'll show you guys uh, or i'll tell you guys what's in each of them so i'm really excited to try them 
um, literally like not too far from me and I, I've been there once before for the vlog I think probably like last year I was at that juice capital so I need to start going more again so supporting a black owned business number one number two just a way I do make my own juices and stuff y'all know that but but just a way to get something in quick when I don't feel like making juices because y'all know it's a process to make them juices so um, um, but yeah, she was really nice, so that was cool. And she actually, she actually took a picture of me. I didn't even get to see the picture. I'm scared of what the picture looks like. <laughs> I'm scared. I don't know what that picture looked like. <laughs> but it's cool. It's cool. Um, and then she was just like, yeah, she'll tag me and stuff like that. So that's fine. If the if somebody go to my page, y'all know what I look like. I don't know what that picture looked like, but <laughs> now that I'm home, um. The first juice that we're going to try is the Mean Green. This one has cucumber, spinach, kale, celery, apple, lemon, and ginger. I think, I kind of feel like I got this one before. I'm not completely sure. That rhymed. <laughs> Ooh, dang, they put these things on the side. Okay. Okay, I think I did get this one before. If this is the same one from before, I remember I liked it. Let me see. Okay, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I like this one. mm-hmm yeah I think this is the one that I tried before but this one is gonna be new to me this one is the strawberry crush this one has strawberry cantaloupe apple ginger and lemon this one should be pretty good too this one should be pretty good I'm, I'm I will be surprised if this is if this is well it does have ginger in it so ginger can sometimes be a little overpowering let me smell it okay it smells nice yeah yeah <laughs> <laughs> that cantaloupe the cantaloupe ate mind you and I don't I don't even really like cantaloupe I would not go to the supermarket and buy cantaloupe mm -mm, I wouldn't I'm sorry I just can't like that salt well maybe I would I think it's like honeydew that I don't like I think it's honeydew let me say that again mm -hmm. these are great <laughs> mind you um if you are in the South Jersey area juice capital black owned um really sweet uh staff um and yeah so <laughs> so okay i'm gonna film a tiktok really quickly and then i'm gonna come back okay so let's talk about some of the products that i just did the tiktok on i don't like that like i wish it was just all white like i don't need this anyway <laughs> so the first thing i did i broke it up into categories pretty much and the first thing i talked about was body care this osea i love the osea <laughs> <laughs> this is my baby i actually bought this at the revolve event that i went to um when i did that new york day thing but i actually really do stand by this it gives you a light smell it's like a it reminds me of like lemon cookies or something like i don't know don't <laughs> it just smells really good i use this in the morning at night like it's no say on how of course it depends on what i'm wearing but for the most part i could just it just melts right into the skin i love this one um the next thing i did is i talked about sense because after you do your body care after you put that oil on then you want to go on with your perfume good girl y'all know i love carolina herrera good girl this is my baby right here this is an everyday scent like talk about everyday scent like every day <laughs> y'all i didn't even tell you guys i was at a doctor's appointment and i almost forgot about this because the nurse had asked me what was i wearing and i was like yeah this is called good girl blah 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 she literally wrote it down she said you smell so good and i was like thank you <laughs> but it smells it's it's everything it's definitely one of those things that you spritz on you gonna catch somebody's attention um the other thing this is a splurge um i know this is out of my budget too honestly but this is one of those things i actually used my sephora credit card for this and i just paid it off but um this one right here this gives me grown woman vibes as you guys can as you guys can see from the bottle i mean clearly like this they spent some money on this packaging itself so it definitely gives you grown woman vibes it's definitely one of those warm scents if you're like ebony woods you'll love this too so that was the other thing then i went into makeup um the sephora micro Sm micro smooth powder i just got put onto this i have the color toffee um 65 toffee and this is one of those things that i caught on to kind of late just trying to learn my makeup understand my skin know my colors and tones and undertones whatever whatever so this is something that i actually just started using but I'm happy that I got it because after you put on your um, like your blush, not your blush, your uh, highlight when you're baking, 
um you just brush it right off with this and it just gives like this really pretty set look so i do like the micro smooth powder again the tiktok girlies put me onto this um another thing is the nars radiant Conceal radiant concealer i have this in amand i'm really almost done like it, it's barely like i'd be like going like this because it's really not much in here left but this i use faithfully this is some, something that I would definitely need to get again if I want to keep doing my makeup the way I've been doing it. So this is another thing. All this stuff is going to be tagged below if you guys are interested in, in trying anything of the sort. Um, this is the Lancome Mascara. Y'all know I never know how to pronounce this. Ideoli. Maybe. Ideoli. Ideoli. I keep adding other syllables in here. But I actually really do like this. When I, says, when I say long lasting, I genuinely mean long lasting. Like... I be having to rub this out of my eyes like you might need a little bit something extra to get this off, off your eyelashes because it's gonna stay which is good but it's gonna stay <laughs> so the last category I did was skincare and of course the hyper even um, brightening vi brightening vitamin C serum um, this was a PR but I actually faithfully use this every single morning so this is something that I would continue to have in my skin regimen um, I use this before, before sunscreen, after, uh, toner. <laughs> before sunscreen, after toner, after sunscreen, after toner, before sunscreen. Oh my gosh. Sorry, y'all. Anyway, my nighttime, oh my gosh, my camera's about to die. Hurry up! Uh, the ordinary glycolic acid, yes, we need this one. Nighttime, yes. The other one, Paula's Choice, <laughs> sorry. Paula's Choice, this one I stand by. I'm gonna have all this linked below. Dr. Dennis Gross is kind of the, one of those expensive brands, but yes, this is the lactic acid oil-free moisturizer. But I'm, I'm done because my camera's gonna cut off. Bye. No, I don't like you. I just thought you were cool enough to kick it. Got a beach house I can sell you and I. Oh, 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 oh,